Well gone massive, I am Fziba, welcome to my channel if you're new and if you're returning, welcome back. I share on my channel things that I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, I have been going through a couple of old photos, you know, you scroll through your phone and you see some photos and when I look back at some of those pictures or some of those photos and I compare them to my hair now, I just realized the significant amount of growth that I have gotten on my scalp and not to mention the length. And so, you know, I just wanted to come and just to do an update as well as to encourage some of us who feel like giving up. Every time I feel like giving up, you know, I just remember that scripture in Isaiah that, you know, I interpret it as baldness as a curse. I will just put that scripture somewhere on the screen, right? Yes, so I remember that scripture and I just remind myself that I don't want to be in a state of baldness because it may be normal for the men but for the women mm -mm, we need some hair on that head so yes family I have been seeing a lot of growth on my scalp and so I just wanted to share with you uh, my regimen has not really changed much I'm still using a lot of the things that I've been using for much years now I've added some things and so yeah that has not changed much but um one thing that i've changed so far is the whole thing of using braids so yes when it dropped into my spirit that i should stop using the braids i actually was like then what may i go do if i can't use braids because i'm just the kind of person i like to get up and go and so when that came to me stop using the braids i just never know how i would manage so basically family this is how i wear my hair most of the times now just in twists i'm still trying to get accustomed to wearing my hair like this especially because i work in a corporate environment so yeah i'm still getting accustomed to it now um one of the things one of the other things that i also do or i continue to do is to use extracts so i would use them in their um fresh state so instead of boiling my um herbs I just blend them and I use the extracts and I find that I get more from those things than I would when I like draw them or use them as teas but I am aware that not everybody has that luxury or has that or has that privilege of you know getting raw stuff and so yes if you still have your like your um, dried rosemary dried whatever it is you can still use it but I just find that using them in the first state I get a whole lot of results from those so yes i've still been using that i've been using my own hair growth oils that i come up with i have a couple of them some i've not been able to show on the channel but as time progresses then you know i will share those with you now another thing that i started i started the clove the, i started using the clove because i see a lot of persons saying that they are getting results from the clove and yes i want to get my hair back to waist length i was at waist length before i want to get back there and so i see some person saying they get too much growth in seven days so who wouldn't want to try that so yes we're on to that experiment um actually i've been doing it for about three weeks now but can i tell your family when i was about to you know do the length check and post the video and everything I don't know if it's some clumsiness with me or something, but I ended up doing something. So when I post that video, I will tell you what I did where I was not able to post that video. So I had to restart the challenge. So I'm using the clove. I'm not sure yet how much um, results I'm seeing from it. When we pull down the hair and measure it, we will know. So yes, guys, I'm just going to place some photographs of the befores and after so you can see where i'm coming from i'm coming from ball head um those some of you who have been watching my videos would see that i am recovering from androgenic alopecia and i say recovering because we're calling those things that be not as though they were right the word of god so yes i'm recovering from androgenic alopecia and uh, you know being told that i would go completely bald and family you can look at my hair um i still have hair on my head i'm not bald and i'm not expecting to be bald so yes so being told that and still being able to um you know be seeing all of this progress i'm just grateful and i just want to encourage somebody else hold on to your journey have faith make sure you present your case before god because yes him can heal us and then while you have faith ensure that you work 
now I am going to turn around now and just let you see how much my hair has um, grown in now the middle is still a bit sparse but if you look in the front I will post some photographs and I will post a photograph so you'll be able to see it better um, you can see the length family I'm getting a lot of length and I actually did my um, trim I trimmed off about two to three inches at the beginning of spring and I feel like I'm right back where I trimmed I was at 14 about 14 inches then and I feel like I'm back there already within the space of two months two one yeah two months so or two months and a bit so I'm gonna turn around now so that you can actually see for yourself what has been happening on my scalp and as I said I will post photos so that you can make your own comparison I'm gonna tell me if me really I see anything right so what I've noticed since I've stopped using the braids by the way I still wear my wigs but I just don't do braids like attach anything to my strands and what I notice is that the strands themselves have um, been coming in thicker so they are not as thin as they were before and I also noticed that the texture of my hair is is changing back to what it looked like before I don't remember so much what it looks like um, because my hair was processed from I was very young maybe 11 or 12 but I noticed that the curl pattern and so on they are coming it a, a bit more kinkier before now they were like if you know still will look that's how my strands were looking before so those are two noticeable differences as well all right so that's basically it i wanted to share an update on my progress and so thank you for watching and please remember if you have not already subscribed to the channel go ahead subscribe check out the other videos i have a whole lot of stuff family um things both related to my diet and also to my hair growth journey and i also have a medicinal feature that i'm doing medicinal plant feature that i'm doing also check those out while you can now thank you for watching and see you in the next video